everybody. Welcome back to My View on the View, the podcast where I make the view table relatable. So if you were like me, you not only didn't notice Whoopi Goldberg's sweater yesterday, yesterday being Tuesday, January 26th, uh, other than the fact that it was black and yellow, you were also completely lost this morning on the show when she made this apology. Well, hello and welcome to The View. Before we get into the show, let me apologize. Yesterday I wore a sweater that apparently upset a lot of people. That was not my intention. I simply bought a sweater from the internet and I will never wear it again. And that's all I can say. You know, I didn't, I still don't know what the connotations are or why people are upset, but I heard you and I'm not going to wear it again. Okay. Well, here's the deal, as Joe Biden says. <laughs> the sweater that Whoopi had on yesterday was a uh, Masonic regalia, okay? Uh, it was a, the, you know, Masonic sweater. And um, some people were upset because they feel like, you know, do not wear it if you are not affiliated with the Masons or the Eastern Stars. And, and y'all know, I've talked about this before, you know, Whoopi comes downstairs from her house, she puts on whatever she wants to put on and she sits down in the chair. Now, she very often doesn't give a lot of thought to it. Uh, and so I tend to think this was one of those days when, you know what, she didn't put a lot of thought in it and she just put on the sweater, uh, you know, over her shirt, like she puts on lots of sweaters over her sh white shirt that she loves to wear. And she just did the show because, you know, it gives a different look. If you're going to wear a white shirt, you know, most days of the week, you want to put something on top of it to try to give it a different look, right? And you know what, guys, I've told y'all this since day one, and I do this on my other channel. I speak very plain. And if you can't handle that, do not subscribe to my channel, either of them, and don't visit my channels. I say this all the time, and yet I see some of the same people that I blocked in times past coming back over and over and over again and it's like why would you want to be somewhere where the person in charge doesn't want you there it doesn't make sense it just shows you how leachy some people are in life so here's here's what i have to say about this you want to know what this is really about because i looked at this and you want to know who was complaining about this it was white people you want to know the sweater they're really pissed off about it wasn't this one because Whoopi has worn so much stuff over the years that if you just wanted something to complain about you could. Let me tell you something. What I found is that, you know, sometimes people don't say anything about what they're really pissed off at you about. They'll wait till you do something else, you know, and then they'll act as if they're pissed about that. Let me tell you the sweater that they're really upset about was the sweater she wore the other day that says my vice president actually was it this week. I think it was Monday or maybe it was Friday or, t or Thursday, but it was here recently where that said my vice president is a black woman. That's the sweater that pissed them off. I can promise you that all the white people that reached out to ABC and complained about the, this Masonic sweater could give two frucks about the Masonic Lodge or the Masonic Order, the Fraternal Order. I promise you that. I promise you that. And I don't think you have to have any anything going from you other than common sense to know that. And so that's what they're pissed off about. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. I've been vlogging about this show for three years and I was an OG viewer before that. And I've seen a lot of things in vlogging. I've had a lot happen to me when people found out. Cause see, when I first started doing this channel, I was coming on camera all the time because I didn't know nothing about podcasting. You know, this wasn't something I had ever intended to do. And I cannot tell you, if I were to tell you what some white people tried to do to my channel behind the scenes, it wouldn't surprise the black people, but the white people listening to me who never do this kind of stuff, and you don't know why I'm even saying this because you would never think to do this kind of stuff, it would literally have your mouth dropped open, okay? But I don't say anything about it. I don't say anything about it. But I can just tell you, let's get back to what before I get really pissed off here. The bottom line is, who cares what Whoopi Goldberg wears on the show? Like today, Megan has on a sweater that, you know, it doesn't say free Navali, but it has Navali on it, okay? You know, I'm sure there may be some people who are offended by that, you know, but I can promise you they're not going to reach out to the network. And so I'm glad that she just came on air and just apologized for it and just move on. But I can promise you as a vlogger, I've looked at this and I can tell you where the complaints are coming from. But it's no different than where the complaints normally 
Can I just tell you that? You want me to tell you the real truth? Where the complaints normally come from. You know, um, it's just it's just sad. I don't know what else to say about it. And I'm just telling you the flat out truth. And I can just promise you that they're waiting for Whoopi to do something else because they 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 were fearful to complain about the my VP shirt. You get what I'm saying? Because of the climate that we're in and we and we are, you know, mo, m more people are speaking out about this. And I, as a vlogger, I'm going to start speaking out more about this. So, guys, that's the deal in the sweater. No big deal. Just people complaining like they always do. I'll talk to you later. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, and you wanna be my friend. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. If you don't wanna change, ain't no place to hide.